بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صباح الخير Good morning everybody and welcome to Expo 2020 Dubai uh, Your Excellency Saleh Lota you, you gave us goosebumps when you were telling the story because I also have memories at that time uh, leading also the Emirates Food Security Council uh, convening all the relevant stakeholders and saying what do we do now? Okay, food's not coming into the country. And as you said, Your Excellency, we learned so much over the past few months. And what I have to say here is the private sector and your role and how we went through the pandemic was just wonderful. And I want to thank each and every one of you. I know it was tough. There were decisions that had to be made. Money lost, uh, people lost jobs. It was such a tough time. But a big thank you, a big shout out to all of you for standing and making sure that the UAE citizens have access to food at all times. I have family living around the world, Brazil, Germany, the US. Everyone had complaints of having shelves empty of certain food items. We did not experience this, even though we're a country that imports most of our food. So really a big thank you to you. You've heard some of the announcements. Um, just for those of you who are not sure, uh, yes, I'm the Minister for Climate Change and Environment, but also the portfolios of food and water security I've taken with me now into, into the ministry. So I still continue um, advocating for sustainable food systems and our journey to ensure that we're not just food secure today, but also in the future. It's wonderful to be back doing face-to-face -face events and meetings again, and as we get used to this new norm, let's say. And uh, I had a wonderful tour just now on all the booths. I thank you all for your efforts, for being here, for showcasing your products, your services. And it's so nice to see also so many new um, companies and entities as well. So welcome to everybody. So, you all know that on a global arena, we always talk about the UAE's reputation as well and what we're doing uh, towards the sustainable development goals. And also we made the huge announcement a few days ago that the UAE has a net zero by 2050 strategic initiative. We, uh, myself, a lot of government entities and private stakeholder members as well, we're gearing up now towards COP26 where we're going to be showcasing what the UAE efforts are, what are the initiatives we're doing, so that uh, the world can see our efforts in achieving this goal. Of course, the FMB industry have a huge role to play here. Food, water, energy, it's all inextricably interlinked together. What I want to say as well is business as you did before the 24th of March, is not the same as what you're doing now. You have found ways to keep the sector alive. You have expanded on online services. You have expanded on, I mean, the third party deliveries. I mean, how, how food now is taken from one place to another has completely changed. You have reimagined re how to use dining room spaces, improved communications between staff, um, and, and your customers. So again, all this knowledge, all this lessons learned is so key into saying how we're going to, as the motto says, transition in the way we deal with food. And for me, it's always, I'm telling everybody, the UAE is putting efforts to transition to more sustainable food systems. And this is where uh, your role is really important. So you've gone through a huge, uh, let's say, uh, roller coaster ride. You've learned so much, and now we need to work hand in hand with you to go more towards sustainable food systems. So, looking at things like how you how you can reduce food loss, food waste, how we can think of more healthier options, how we can source from more uh, locally or more sustainable sources. These are all things I would like to work with you on. I had the honor as well to sit with many of you this morning just to get feedback on what are the bottlenecks that you're, you're facing. And I, I just want to say something that I also said this morning. I know a lot of you see also in the news, I'm also talking a lot about ag tech, 
how we want to develop uh, and growing food more locally, you need to think of this in two ways. The UAE wants to, to become a hub for two things. Number one, we still want to be pioneering as a food hub for food trade. But what we want to do is be less dependent on the net food imports. So we still want to do food trade. We still want to be able to bring volumes of food to the country. We want to boost the manufacturing sector. But at the same time, we also want to become a hub for knowledge and innovation and how to grow foods in hot, arid climates like what we have here in the UAE. So we've got two paths we're following. Because our food basket, not all of it makes sense to grow in the UAE. So some things, it, we can focus on technology and innovation here, build the national capacity, other things we will have to depend on trade. And remember, we're a country that has over 200 nationalities. Everyone has different tastes. And we want to keep up being able to serve everyone what they actually love when it comes to food. So with that, I think um, I will stop there. And I want to wish everybody a fruitful um, event, lots of good discussions. I'm here to listen and to learn and to work with you hand in hand to transform into better and more sustainable food systems. Thank you.